where their bugs are going in order to come up with. But now we have embrace. I'm going to have to start. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to start. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sonia. My name is Sonia Edwards. We're here for Body Works at the Dorothy Benson Center. My, I'm required to let you know that it's recommended that you consult a physician before starting any type of physical activity program. And by participating in these online virtual classes, you're assuming all risks and dangers associated with that participation. We exercise instructors may do a challenging exercise or stretch. If you're feeling a little intimidated about doing the exercises demonstrating, I want you to feel free, absolutely free to modify it so that you're better able to do it or you can just do one of your favorites in place of it. I want you to feel free to do you, all right? You're gonna go over exercise equipment, sturdy chair, preferably with an upright back, and, and preferably, well, it's not preferably, it needs to have an upright back, but preferably free of the arms, <laughs> okay? And then we wanna have water. Our water's over there, but we wanna have water so that, and so, no participants, yeah, I'll try to drink a bottle of water because it's so important to hydrate. Then in this class, we use, I demonstrate the class or go through the class with resistance or dumbbells. If you don't have any weights or resistant dumbbells, anything like that, feel free to grab some cans out of the refrigerator. I mean, out of the cupboard, water bottles, they work. All right, if you just definitely want something. Otherwise, but if our arms are free, pretty heavy, legs are heavy, so you don't really need any resistance if you don't, you know, it's not a requirement. All right, let's get, let's get started. Four more, four, three, two. And step side to side, step side to side. Four more, four, three, two. And a hamstring, pull that hamstring up, curl it up. Four more, four, three, two. Gonna lift those knees, be lift. Four more, four, three, two. Gonna lean side to side, lean side to side, lean. I'm gonna add a reach onto that lean, reach. Now I'm gonna reach up to the ceiling, stretch, reach, stretch. All right, last one. And we're going to turn and face this left wall, just take that right foot back, and then flatten the foot. You want to keep this leg straight, bending the front, and we're going to reach and squeeze the elbow back. Reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. In four, three, two, we're going to reach and let it down. For eight, eight, one, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. And now we're going to lower into that lunge, down into that lunge. You want to take those hips and push the hips forward, stretching out this hip flexor. And then we're going to slowly rise back up. We're going to warm our shin. We're going to come forward on the point in the back foot. Place weight on the back foot, flexing the front. Point, flex, point, flex, point, warming up those shins. 
in four, three, two. Last one. So now we're going to push our hips down. We're going to bend our right knee, but keep this left leg straight. You want to stretch the back of this left leg. Hands are on the knees, head is up. Feel that stretch along the back of the lat leg. Four more. Four, four. Three, two. Gonna roll on up. Gonna turn, switch to the opposite side. Legs are apart. Gonna take that left foot and flatten it, keeping the foot in line with the leg. Leg is straight. Right foot is right knee bent. Put a reach, leave that middle of the back. Three, two, last one. Reach and lunge it up. Reach and lunge it down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Now we're going to lower it down. That one, take those hips and push the hips forward. Again, stretching out that hip flexor. Stretch. Just slowly rise back. Bringing weight forward, pointing the back foot. Weight back, flexing the front. Point left. Just warming up those shins. Four, three, two, back. All right, push those hips back, bending this left knee, keeping that right leg straight. You want to stretch the back of this right leg. Hands are on the knees, head is up. Feel that stretch along the back of the leg. For four, three, two, one. All up. Face in front, we're going to do three deep breaths, all right? Three deep breaths, inhale. Slowly blow out. Breath number two, inhale. Slowly blow out. Last one, breath. And exhale. All right. Ready to get started. I'm just going to say, are you going to join us? No, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Make sure the chair behind you go. You want to use the bring one of those chairs yeah, and put it behind the table so you can sit. Yeah, we're in the city. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get All right, so funny times. Feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna lift and roll those shoulders back. We're gonna do a big shrug, try to touch our ears, and then lower the weights down to count. Lift up, lower, lift up, big shrug. Two more, lift up. Last one, lift. Weights to the side, lifting them out to the side, and slowly lowering them down. Lift up, slow down. Lift up, down. Last one. We're going to combine the two exercises. Shrug, shrug, up. Weights to the side, lift them out to the side. Lift, slow down. Shrug, up to the side. Lift. Slowing down. A few more. Shrug. Up. Lift. Lower. Last one. Last one. Shrug. Lift. Going to bring the weights forward in front. Front. Lift. Keep that tummy tight. Lift. Up. Up. Working those shoulders. Four more, four, three, this is 
two. Last one. Then take the weights above our head. Palms facing forward and a little lower so the elbows are bent. And then raise them back up. Set of eight. Eight. Seven. That tummy tight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last. Last. Then take the weights down in front. Shoulders are back. Tummy's tight. Going to do what's called a deadlift. Want to flatten that back. Weights are down to the knee. And then come up sweeping the end and the glutes. All right. It's called a deadlift. Eight. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Five. Squeeze. Three more. Three. Squeeze. Two. Last one. All right. We're going to take the weight system to the side. And we're going to side to side. Keep those hips and the shoulders and line the hips. Eight. And seven. And six. And Five and four and three and two and last set. Last set. All right. So we're gonna bend the knees. I'm gonna bring our chest. So I'm gonna turn my chest forward instead of forty five to be eight. forward. Taking the waves in front, we're bringing them up to the chest by the room. It's called a live one. Bring those feet back out. Keep that tummy tight. Eight, squeezing the middle of the back. Seven, back, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, keeping the same posture, still bent forward. Weights are facing each other. And then we're going to lift like they lift them out to the side, squeezing the middle of the back. Elbows are bent. These are flies. Set of eight. Eight. Squeeze that middle of the back. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Now we're going to step up our. Body is straight, still knees are slightly soft. Another back exercise, weights in front. We're going to bring the weights out to the side. Again, sweeping the middle of the back and shoulder blades to get set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's going to vary the next set. It's going to open these weights up. Send those arms out, bring it back into the chest, and bring it back for a set of eight. Eight, extend, seven, extend. These are back exercises. Six, this one includes the shoulders. Five, four more, four, three, two, Last one. Last one. All right. Work on getting this to work on our balance. Going to take the weight over on the left side. You're going to right foot back. Weights are front. And we're going to balance on this left leg. Bring these weights forward. And then come back up. So we move over a little bit. So if you can come, you want to try to get it to where your weights are in the bottom knee, you can come forward even better. But that's our goal, is to try to get it around that knee. And then it's going to come back up, all right? Set of eight. Eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six. 
plus three. Five plus four plus three plus two plus three. Last one. So like the same leg. Still staying on that end leg. We're going to take our right arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg. He's going to lift arm and leg back. Wait a minute. That's not our best thing. Sorry. It's an arm off the leg. Lifting that arm and leg up at the same time. Then it may. All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep that knee soft. Can you keep that tummy tight? Three. Two, one. All right. Opposite side. Now have that right foot all the way on the right foot. Always keep those knees soft. All right. So weights are in front, shoulders are back. You want to keep those weights forward and come back up. All right. Keep the tummy tight, steady of eight. Eight. Up, seven, six, up, five, make sure to keep the tummy tight, four, up, three, up, two, up, last, up. All right. We have a right foot. Uh, left arm and then left foot. So it's right arm. All right. I'm going to get them straight. That's all right. Lift it. Instead of eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Let me slow down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, back to the opposite side. Weight back on the left. Bring that right foot forward. And we're going to cross our weights and lift the weights above the head. Tummy tight, bending at the elbows. Elbows are coming forward, head, weights coming behind the head. So we're going to do this combination with this, our tricep kickbacks. And Keeping our balance. If you can hold up that leg, even better. But if you need to put the foot down, feel free to do that. Whatever you can do, all right? Then a lift set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. Yeah. Weights, feet, or hips, hips with the part. We're going to bring the weights over this left shoulder. We're going to swing like we're chopping a tree. These are called cross. Nice twist in the back, in the tummy, and then come back up. All right, set of eight. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, that's all right. Keeping the waist in the single, you can put them in your hand. Bring it up to the side. So speed the hip width apart. Hand tight. Shoulders in line with the hip. And take that hand behind your head. You're going to teeter over. Bring those weights to the knee. And then bring the elbow over to the hip. Just work on these obliques. Eight. Over. 
seven over six five four three more Two, last, oh, all right. Let's go back to that stand where we're, we have our knees quite in bent, chest is forward. Gonna do a taking the weights forward. It's another back exercise. We're using them, those shoulder blades together, bringing the weight to the chest. We're going to go weight forward. Set of eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And we're going to add those kickbacks with the triceps. Bring the weights up to the chest. Kick those arms back, bring them back into the chest, and push those weights out instead of eight. In eight, out. In seven, out. In six, out. In five, out. In four, out. In three, out. In Last set, last set. All right. And now we're going to do everything on the opposite side. So take the weight. The right hand this time. Over to the side. Knees are soft. Just going to take that hand behind the head. Tummy tight. Looking over. Feet to the knees. Elbow to the hips. Set of eight. Eight. And seven and six and five and four and three and two last. All right, then grab the plates. Going to do the cross chops on the opposite side. All right, so weights are over the shoulder, right shoulder. Step in. That tree, set of eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last, last. All right. Now all the way down to the right side and that left foot forward. And take those weights above the head. All right. Balancing. Gonna bring those weights behind the head. All right, set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, tight, three, two, fast. All right. All right. Now we're going to stand in front of our chair. To make our way down into our chair. We're gonna do a, a squat and just tap. You can get tap down into that seat of the chair. Do that little side leg lift. So then squat and side leg. Should have them hip width apart. All right, set of eight. Squat, lift, squat. That's eight. Right. Left. That's seven. Squat. Right. 
That's it. Five, four, three, two, last. Now we're going to do our slow count squat into the chair. Eight count. Going down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sitting at one. All right. Still want to let's grab water. What? All right, we want to sit forward in the chair so we have space between our back and the back of the chair. All right, I'm going to do what's called a rowboat. I'm going to take our arms wide coming forward and then bringing the weights back into our chest. Then we're going to lift our knees, take our feet out, and lift our knees and bring our feet back into the seat chair. So going forward, big circle, out, and then feet in. All right, all right, better in. Eight. Out, yes. Seven, out, yes. Six, yes. Five, out, yes. Four, out, three, two, last. Yes. All right. And take our legs wide. Feet are going to come in. This is going to be like kind of like a jumping jack. The weights are coming. They're in between the legs. Going to lift them up to the chest. Lift those knees together. Knees back out and weights back down. Set of eight. So up. There we go. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. I'm going to take opposite leg, extend the opposite leg, and then opposite arm. All right. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Set of eight. Eight and seven and Six and five and four and three and two and last set. Last set. All right. So sitting forward in the seat, going to place the weights up. The chest, going to wrap those arms around the chest. And so we want to take placing our back in the back of the chair, touching the back of the chair, and then sitting back up. So you should feel the lower abdomen, pulling the lower abdomen. You know, once you have not far forward in the chair. All right. Set of eight. Eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, last one. And take our weights 
in your hands. So we want to sit and we want to lean back, but we don't want to rest our back on the back of the chair. We want to just hover, but we want to be at this angle, this 45 degree angle, bringing the weight side to side, side to side. Bring side to side, right? So you're going to be at 40, you kind of lean back just above. Yeah, have a dairy belt. You'll feel it, the difference. All right. All right. Set of eight. Eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three and two and last set. All right, I'm going to put the one of the way you want to put one of the way you want to do our, uh, our halos. And from the end of the way, let's take the feet. Keep that tummy tight, bring it around the head. All right, and then bring it around the opposite way. All right, set of eight. Eight. And seven. And six. And five and four and three and two last. Throw that down, no, that's two. Sorry, last, but now it's last. Last. All right. We'll put the weight aside. We're finished with those you now. Taking it to sitting forward in the chair. Hands behind the head. Going to lift the knee, opposite elbow to the knee. Put the elbow to the knee. All right, set of eight. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and last set. All right, now we're going to take our back and we're going to actually rest our back against the back of the chair. Use these arms, rest your arms. We're going to extend our legs out. And we're going to do scissors. So we're going to lift our right foot, I mean, our left foot above the right, and then take them wide. Then lift the left, bring the right foot above the leg and lift behind. So we're going to scissor the legs. All right. Set Set of eight, eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and last set. All right. So these are bent right here. We're going to back still against the chair. You can use the arm here. You need to see if you need them. We're going to get those knees into the chest. Let's do what set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last. All right. Going to extend the leg out. Going to do leg lifts, set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
going to extend the leg, flexing the foot, taking the leg to the side. Instead of eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right opposite leg, extended the leg lift, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leg lifted, leg from the foot, take it to the side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. All right, back to the left leg. Going to extend that leg into a big circle with that leg. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Going to reverse the circle for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Opposite leg, a circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse the circle, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. All right. I'm going to extend those last leg. We're going to go. This will be our last good exercise. We're going to come back up to standing. So, pull the arms up. Lift these leg lifts. Lift these legs up. Set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and grab more, more swing. Go ahead and stand up out of the chair. All right. Sit on the right side of the chair. My plate to the right foot forward. The plate back. Like shoulder width apart. We're going to do lunges. So be on the back, but should be up on your toes. So you want to have at least that much distance where your toes run each other in the back. Top doesn't move. Legs bend, knees bend, both knees bend. So we're not coming forward, we're not coming backward. Your body stays straight. Just your knees good. Perfect. Perfect. All right, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, coming forward. Front of our chair. So again, feet are shoulder width apart, then turn our toes outward. Stubby tight, shoulders in line with the hip. And again, spot up top of the move, knees bent. All right, set of eight. You can bring those arms out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to place our hands on our thighs and bend those knees. I'm going to lift the ankles, lift the ankles up. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and last and last. All right, so then walk the feet in. Turn to the left. 
So our left foot is forward. Again, feet are shoulder width apart. The back foot is on the toe. Tummy tight, body upright. And we just need that is eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Ready to come up on the chair. You want to lift up onto those toes all the way. Let's be great. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to turn our toes inward so they're pointing in. We do that same lift. Eight, seven, work in the cat, six, five, four, three, also pressing in the C2, one. And now we're going to turn our foot really wide and lift up on our feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. Awesome job. Gonna go ahead and pull uh, it down, shift it over to the side, stretch your feet. All right, bringing our bodies upright, taking that arm out to the side and bringing it across. Gonna lock that elbow and pull the front arm in, stretching out the shoulder stretch. Definitely work those today, right? Our shoulder, opposite side, stretch over. Stretch. Right, straightening up. Take that hand out to the side and across the chest. And pull that arm in, stretching out the shoulder. All right, big circle with the shoulders, big circle for three, two, one. And then a reverse the circle. Three, two, one, and let's get the hands onto the knees. I'm going to lower our shoulder down and then a grand front hand of chest, make our chest, make our chest, make that right wall, really that in the quad, stretch, opposite side, and a lower that right shoulder to the turn, set towards the left, feeling the foot in the quad, stretch. Then we're going to come face forward, then flat our back, and then round our back up, switching like a cat with a scary kitty cat stretch. Then flatten, then round up, scary kitty cat stretch. Flatten last time, and then round that back up, stretch. And then slowly cut up. All right, and then the face up. Right wall, our body faces the right wall, our legs are apart. We're going to stretch out the right leg, then the left leg, keep the right leg straight. Back flat, hands are on the knees, stretching the back of that right leg. For four, three, two, one. Hold up. Turn around to the opposite side. Heart, that left leg straight, bending that right knee. Hands are on the knees. And again, want to stretch out the back of that leg. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to roll up. Facing front, three deep breaths. Inhale. Slowly blow out. Breath number two. Inhale, pull it blow out. Last one, left knee. Breath. Inhale, and exhale. All right, all right. Awesome job, awesome job. 
when everybody makes sure to sign in. Make sure everybody signs in. <laughs> Hey there. Uh, let me get down. I want the stage. Oh, yeah. We're getting ready for, uh, well, I mean, we're finished with the first class and then uh, in 10 minutes, it'll be chair yoga. So if you can stay, feel free. If you can't, hot off for now and see you next week. All right. So, but chair yoga at 1030. Okay. Yeah, 
Good morning. Thank <laughs> you. 
We go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sonia Edwards. Welcome to Yoga and Breath. If you that morning. I'm required to let you know that it's clear it's recommended that you consult a physician before starting any type of physical activity program. And by participating in these online virtual classes, you're assuming all risks and dangers associated with that participation. We exercise instructors may do a challenging exercise or stretch. If you're feeling a little intimidated by doing that exercise as demonstrated, feel free, absolutely free to modify it so that you're better able to do it or do one of your favorites in place. I want you to feel free to do you. All right, going over exercise equipment. Did you put it chair? You know what? It's there. Let me see if it's there. Exercise equipment and we need water. Okay, and then we'll get started. Let me check about this mic. I I had one in there and I only had one in there. Spike on. I need to remember it because I can all the time. I couldn't grab it and pick up. I 
small. They stay here in the city. They have to be exposed to go to the city to get them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I think it's on. Did you just fix this? Um, you didn't have a big bathroom. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah, hello. I don't think it's working. I don't. I, I can't. I can't see it. Like, there's a little thing in here that says shows that it's on and it's not like lighting it's not yeah that's okay we don't need that yeah it's not i don't know if that the that may not there it goes okay it, 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 i think that was it See if that made the difference. It lit. Hello. Just I know. Hello, hello, hello. I will try to try to be glad I think it may be on. I don't know. Anyway, we're sitting all the way back in our chair, feet are flat on the floor, but placed directly underneath our knees. Going to lift and roll our shoulders back so we're seated tall. Relax our hands on our, our legs. Relax the shoulders. Just want to relax here, but want to sit tall. We want to begin to focus in on our breathing. We want to in, deeply inhale and slowly exhale. What I mean by in deeply breathing or deeply inhaling, I want to take that. I want you to take the oxygen, push it past the chest, push it deep into the belly. And what I mean by slowly exhaling, you could purse your lips like a whistle or an open kiss, and then push the air out 
then it will extend slowly extend your exhale. All right. Right. You're gonna inhale. Taking that oxygen, push it deep into the belly, and then slowly exhale. First the lips. Push that air out slowly. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And on this exhale, we want to start to relax our body. We're going to relax our head, our shoulders, our arms, our back, our chest, belly, our bottoms, our legs, our feet. Just want to relax our bodies from head to toe. Inhale. And on this exhale, we want to start to relax our mind, clearing out all those thoughts, clearing out the negativity. We just want to push it out and let it flow out with our breath. Just pushing out the worries, stresses, frustration, the angers, the appointments to do this. Just want to push it all out, clearing our minds, clearing those thoughts. Just turning our focus to here and now in our yoga practice. Inhale. And exhale. Relaxing our bodies. Clearing our minds. Last deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Relax body. Relax mind. Clear thoughts. All right, we're going to go ahead and move forward in our class session. We want to keep that breathing going throughout the class. We're going to lower our chin to our chest. Relaxing our head. And we're going to rotate our head big circle for three. Big circle for two. Last big circle this direction. <laughs> Bringing our chin back to our chest. And going to reverse the circle, big circle for three. Big circle for two. Last big circle. Bringing our chin back to our chest. I'm going to raise our head up to center. I'm going to take our chin, our chin, and going to bring it towards the left. Bring it over directly over our shoulder. Feeling that twist in the neck. I'm going to hold it there, to, giving it time to stretch. Stretch. Opposite side, we're going to bring our chin over the right shoulder. 
Again, feeling that twist in the neck. Stretch. Then gonna relax that twist. We're gonna return our face front and center. Gonna lift our shoulders. Make sure to try to touch our ears. And then we're gonna push our shoulders, gonna push both shoulders down, push, press, same time. And then relax the shoulders. And again, one more time, we're gonna bring those shoulders up to touch the ears, big shrug. And then relax the shoulders. Now we're gonna push both shoulders down, push, press, stretch. And then relax the shoulders. Then now we're gonna Rotate our shoulders, the inner shoulder socket, and bring the shoulders forward. That is nice and rounded. We're going to lift those shoulders up to the ears and then roll our shoulders all the way to the back. Shoulder blades should feel that press the shoulder blades together. Our chest is front and center. And then we're going to relax our shoulders. Again, bringing those shoulders forward. And we're going to lift, lift them up towards the ears, rolling them all the way to the back. Chest is front and center. And then relax, shoulder. One more time, bring those shoulders forward. Back is nice and rounded. And then we're going to lift those shoulders all the way up to the ears, rolling those shoulders back. And then relaxing the shoulders. A, a deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. Now we're going to reverse this circle with our shoulder rotation with our shoulders, going to bring those shoulder blades back, pressing them together, chest front and center, lift our shoulders up to our ears, and roll the shoulders forward. Back is rounded, and then relax the shoulders out to the side. Again, bring those shoulders back, shoulder blades together, and lift up to the ears, and then roll the shoulders forward. Back is rounded, and then relax the shoulders. Last time, bring those shoulder blades back and lift. Lift the shoulders up to the ears and then bring them forward, back nice and rounded. Then relax the shoulders. Again, inhale. And exhale. Gonna take our hands and raise them up to heart center. Gonna lift those hands up to the ceiling and wanna reach, trying to touch. Touch the ceiling, stretch, and then relax the chest, relax the arms, and part them out to float them down along the side of the body. And we're gonna raise our hands back up to heart center. One more time, reaching for that ceiling. Reach and stretch, try to touch, stretch. And then relax the chest, relax the arms, and float those arms, park them out towards the side, put them down. We're going to raise our hands up to heart center. Fingers pointed outward, away from the body. We want to reach forward like we're touching the screen, the power button on the television, remote on the table, stretch, trying to touch it or reach it, stretch. Then relax, reach, and then bring those arms back. Bring them back as far back as you can. Get open wide, stretching through the chest, hand stretch. And then relax those arms. These are back up the heart center. One more time, fingers pointed outward, away from the body, reaching forward. Again, try to grab the remote, stretch and reach magazine. So when you screen stretchy, and then relax, reach and part the arms, and then open that, open those arms wide through the chest stretch. 
then relax those arms. Right. Then it, Going to bring our chest forward. Going to bring our arms forward, hands forward. We're going to flatten the back and tighten the tummy. And then we're going to lift our body, our arms, our hands. So we're sitting upright, hands above the head. And then going to part the arms and put those arms down to the side. Inhale. Chest comes forward, arms comes forward, exhale. Going to flatten the back, tighten the tummy. We want to inhale with this, inhale. Bring those arms up above the head. And then exhale, hands out to the side. Inhale. Chest comes forward, arms forward, exhale. Want to flatten the back, tighten the tummy. Inhale, lift. The body's upright. And then exhale, part the arms. Last one, inhale. Chest comes forward, arms forward, exhale. Flat back, tight tummy. Let's inhale, lift. And exhale, part the arms and float those down. Right. We will lift our hands and raise them up to the level of the chest. We're going to rotate our chest so it's facing the right wall. We're going to place our hands on the side of the chair or on the side of the arm chair, of, of the chair. One, sit tall, tummy tight. Pose is called the twist pose. Just want to relax into this twist. Want to inhale. And on this exhale, we want to try to look behind us. We're going to relax that stretch. That pose, going to raise our hands back up to the chest and rotate our chest to the opposite side. So our chest is facing the left wall, and on the left arm of the chair, the left side of the chair. Again, tummy tight. Sitting tall. Want to inhale here. And on this exhale, want to turn it behind us. Try to relax. Put it close. Raising our hands up to our chest. And we're going to return our chest front and center. We're going to take our left arm and bring it between our legs, and then lower our arm till our elbow is the level of our knee. Gonna take our chest and rotate it to the right, and then raise our right arm up towards the ceiling. This is our prayer twist. Stretch. Opposite side, gonna bring our hands into our chest and sit our body torso upright. Then take our right arm between the legs, lowering that arm till our elbows between the knee. Then rotating our chest to the left, face the left wall, and lift that left arm up towards the ceiling for our prayer twist stretch. All right, gonna bring those hands back into the chest and going to bring our chest sit upright. Going to do our cat cow flow, hands are on the knees. Going to bring our chest forward, going to scoop the head. Going to bring those shoulders back, arch to the back, and our gaze up towards the ceiling. This pose is called cow. And then going to move to our cat pose, going to lower our chest, our neck, our head, our shoulders. 
And then we're going to round and lift our back. Round and lift it like a scared little kitty cat. This pose is called cat. And then we're going to lift our head, lift and roll our shoulders back. So we're sitting back upright. And then we're going to repeat. This is our cat cow flow. Bringing the chest forward, scooping up the head. Let's find our cow. Shoulders back, arch back, gaze up to the ceiling. Cow. Now let's find our cat. Great chest, shoulders in. We're going to round and lift the back. It's our cat. Lifting head, lifting shoulders, rolling our shoulders back. Again, cat, cow. Let's find our cow. Cow. Now well, let's find our cash. Wrong intention. Sit. And I'm at the lift. It's our cash. Oh, I'm gonna lift. Lift back. Getting upright. Mm -hmm. Gonna take our hand, our right hand, and extend that hand. Basically, either on the arm in the chair or the seat. Want to extend the left arm and lift that left arm up alongside the head. Tilt those shoulders over to the side. The right, stretching out the left side of our body, stretch. We're going to take our chest. We're going to rotate our chest so it's facing that left wall and flat out the back. Of the right wall and flatten out the back, stretching. So reach with those arms with that right wall. And then take our shoulders and rotate our shoulders, bring them in line with our hips, straighten up our torso, our body, so we're keeping up right. Right, left arm is extended. Gonna bend that left arm at the elbow, bring the fourth arm behind the fourth, behind the head. We're going to lift the right hand, place the palm of the right hand on the left elbow and push that elbow down. Stretching out the upper part of the arm, side of the chest, stretch. Going to relax that stretch, placing the hand on the knee, and then extend that arm. Back up to the, the wall to the ceiling, taking it out to the side and then we'll scoop it across the front of our chest, locking that elbow, pulling that arm into the chest, stretching out the shoulder. Stretch. Opposite side, left hand on the arm on the side of the chair, extending the right arm and then I'll lift that arm up alongside the head, tilt those shoulders over to the left. Stretching out the left side of the, the right side of the body, stretch. Then take our chest and rotate the chest so it's facing that left wall and flat on the back. So reach that right arm, stretch. And then relax that stretch, rotate the shoulders, bring the shoulders in line with the hip, and then straighten up our body, our torso. So our right arm is extended. Gonna bend that arm, the elbow, and bring it behind the head. Left hand, palm of left hand, place on the right elbow and push that elbow down. Stretch. Or relax that stretch. <laughs> Going to place the hand on the knee and extend that right arm back up towards the ceiling and then take it out to the side. Then sweep it across the front of our chest. Going to lock that elbow and pull that arm into the chest, stretching out the shoulder. Going to relax that stretch. All right. Hopefully, as everybody's feeling all nice and stretched at the top, I'm going to grab water. Grab water. And we'll move down to the lower part of our body.
All right, we'll take our hands. We're going to push our bodies forward in our chair. So we have space between our back and the back seat of the chair. All right, sitting tall. We're going to lift our left knee up and extend our left leg out. We're going to flex that foot, feeling the stretch on the back of the leg. Sitting tall, tummy tight. Now we're going to point the foot, feeling the stretch on the top of the leg, the muscle on the top of the leg. Again, tummy tight, sitting tall. Then we're going to flex that foot and lower that heel to the floor. We're going to take our forearm and place it on our meet our leg or knee for support. I'm going to take that left arm. I'm going to take that left hand and follow it alongside the leg. Left leg. I'm going to reach outward past the foot. I want to feel this stretch along the back of the back of the leg. Stretching and reaching. And we want to lift that hand all the way up to the ceiling and float it out to the side. Again, using that right forearm for support, that left hand, I'm going to take that left hand and follow that leg till we're past the foot and reach out past the foot, stretching and reaching, feeling the stretch along the back of that left leg, I'm going to stretch the back of the muscle that there, stretch. Lift that up, hand up, and take it to the side. Keep sitting tall, tummy tight. We're going to lift the leg up. We're going to bend that leg at the knee and step that foot back in. Opposite side, right knee up, extend that leg, and then flex that foot back. Again, sitting tall, tummy tight. Stretch and then point the foot, the leg lifted, tummy tight, keeping our posture, sit it tall, then flex the foot and lower that heel down to the floor, using the right forearm for support. I'm going to take that right and then left arm for support, take the right hand and then follow that right leg along the way. Past the foot, reach up past the foot, feeling that stretch in the back of that leg. Reach, stretch. Where you should feel it is right along the back of the leg. That stretch. Lifting the hand up to the ceiling, taking the hand out to the side. One more time. Left arm for support, taking that right hand and reaching out and past the foot, feeling that stretch in the back of the leg. Stretch. And lift that hand up toward the ceiling, taking it out to the side. And sitting tall, tummy tight, going to lift the leg up. And bend that leg at the knee and step that foot in. We take the legs wide. Right forearm, right thigh, left hand inside the knee and then up, open up that knee. Open up that leg. Open up the hip. Can we feel the tension on the inner thigh? Then we want to take our hand. Place it on the knee, locking the elbow. We want to press open. We want to feel the stretch in the inner thigh. And locking that elbow, pressing against that knee, and we're going to lower this shoulder down. Feeling the little stretch from the upper part of the back. Stretch and feeling the stretch in the thigh. We're going to lift the shoulder up, lifting our torso, our bodies. So we're sitting back upright. We're going to do this on the opposite side. 
right forearm, left forearm, left thigh, take the right hand in, push open that leg. We feel the inner thigh. Tension in the inner thigh. Then placing the hand on the knee, straighten out that arm, locking the elbow and the lower that shoulder. Pressing open the left thigh. Pressing against that knee, feeling the stretch in the inner thigh. Stretch. The stretch of the upper part of the back. Right and relax that stretch for the brains, our bodies, torso back up. So it's sit on a bright middle walk or feet in. Taking the hand to the ankle, right ankle lifted, I'm placed on top of the left knee. <coughs> Take those hands up. I'm gonna bring those hands forward in front of the leg. Just wanna keep those arms extended. And then want to work to stretch the rest of the body. Want to relax the head and the neck. Relaxing the chest, the back. Relaxing the leg, the hip. We just want to give our bodies time to relax. <laughs> And as our body relaxes, so much we give a little, bring our chest a little closer to the leg, a little closer. Rest here. Doing our body's time to relax and stretch. Right, gonna slowly rise, slowly rise from vertebrae to time slow. So we're sitting back upright. Gonna take this leg and cross the leg. Take your foot behind the leg, hand. Right foot behind the left leg. To our, to do our eagle pose. I'm gonna take the right arm underneath the left arm. Left arm faces the right wall, that right arm. Come to the side. Left, our eagle pose. Stretch. Shoulders. I'm getting the leg. Pose. And the arms and cross the leg. And lower that right foot to the floor. Opposite side. Left ankle on top of right knee. I'm going to take those arms, those arms forward in front of that leg. Relaxing the arms and letting them hang. And then kind of trying to relax the rest of the body. Relaxing into this pose. Relaxing the head and the neck and the shoulders, the chest, the back, the leg, the hip. We just want to give our bodies time to relax here. Deep breaths. As your body stretches, bring your chest a little closer to the leg and a little closer stretch. All right, gonna slowly rise one vertebrae at a time, slow. 
We're sitting back up, right? Taking the leg across. Bring that left foot behind the right. And taking the left arm underneath the right. And bring it inside the right. Stretch. Right. And then cross the arms. And then cross the legs. Speak forward in our chair. We're going to rest our back against the back seat of the chair. We're going to lift our knee. Right knee. We're going to wrap our arms around our knee and pull our knee into our chest. And stretch. Then we're laughing and stretch. Rotate the foot. Then reverse that rotation. Slide that left hand. Grab that right ankle and put the ankle in the knee into the chest. Stretch. Relax that. Judge going to take the hand underneath the leg. Want to extend the leg, feeling the stretch in the back of the leg. I'm going to relax all of the bend in your arm. Relax that leg. I'm going to bend this leg back at the knee. Leg at the knee and step that leg back in. Opposite knee, left knee, wrapping those arms around the knee and pull that knee into the chest. Stretch. Gonna relax that stretch, rotate the foot. Gonna reverse that rotation. Slide that hand to the ankle. Then pull the ankle from the knee into the chest. Stretch. Gonna relax that stretch. And then going to take the hand underneath the leg and then stand that leg up and out, stretch. And then we're going to release that leg down. And then we're going to keep that leg at least one hand. We're going to extend the other leg out. Let's do our full body stretch. So hands are on our thighs. Resting our back against the back of the chair. We're going to lift our hands up. Across the ceiling, and then over the back of the chair, over our head, technically. And then we're going to push our feet out or push our hands opposite direction, tighten our tummy, and just do a full body stretch. In three, two, one, stretch. Reach. Right. right. I'm going to take our hands and bring our hands back. Really small lines. Then we're going to step our feet back in towards our chair. Then take our hands and lift our hands and place them on the side of the chair or on the side of our chair. Walk our bodies back into our chair. All right. Oh, nice and straight from top to bottom. I'm going to grab my water. And we're going to get ready for our standing exercise. Short. We're going to stand. Last week, so can stand behind the chair if you need to have the position that's about the stand beside my chair so that you can 
Right. Our feet, our hip width apart. So we tie. Going to lift and roll our shoulders back. We're going to start off in our mountain pose. So they're facing forward. We want to feel rooted and grounded. Steady. Our spine is in line with our hips, all the way down, solid to our feet, grounded. Relax here for a moment. Inhale. And exhale. I'm going to lower down, bending our knees, we're going to find our chair, chair pose, and bring our arms forward. Hands in front of our head, towards the ceiling, gaze following our hands up towards the ceiling, into our chair pose. And straighten up those legs, we're going to rotate the hands and bring them above our head. I'm going to part them into a big V. I'm going to take the place our weight on the left leg and slide our right foot out to um, our five pointed star. We want to center our weight, bending both knees, going to bring our elbows into a line to our goddess pose. Goddess. Straighten up. We're going to take our hands and place our hands above our head, palms facing together. Now we're going to do some knee, knee salutations. We're going to bend over to the left, keep the shoulders in line with the hip. Stretch to the left, stretching to the right side of the body. Stretch. And then straighten up and get above our head. Then go back into our goddess, part the arms, bend the knees, bring those elbows down on the side. Our goddess, straighten those legs back up, hands back up, put the head. Going to tilt over to the right this time. Keep those shoulders in line with the hip. Stretch. So we need salutation. Stretch. Straighten up. Hands back above the head. Going to part the arms down into our goddess. Straighten back up. Hands back up above our head. And then we're going to part the arms, bring them out to the side. We want to bring our hands behind our body, placing them just above our bottoms. We're going to push our hips forward. Present pose. Arch in the back, shoulders back, relax the head back, go sit forward, stretching, or pressing. And then straighten up. Then extend those hands, then extend those arms. Place them hands on the knees. And we're going to flatten or sway our back, get them to the ceiling for our cow. Then we're going to round our back into a standing cat. And stretching. And then go back to flat, hanging or swaying the back, gaze looking up to the ceiling for our cow. Round that back, upward cat, stretching. 
One more time, flatten your sway to that, gazing beyond towards the ceiling. Cow. Let I me mean, round it back up for a cat and stretch. And then slowly rise, roll up. Then we lift and move back into our mountain mm -hmm. pose. Those, those shoulders going back, sitting tall. Arms facing forward. Just relax. Feel grounded, rooted. Inhale. Exhale. All right. All right. Go ahead and put that down and prepare for our meditation. Sitting all the way back in our chair. Feet are flat on the floor, but placed directly underneath our knees. Gonna lift and roll our shoulders back. So we're sitting tall, and then we're gonna rest our back against the back of the chair. We just wanna relax here. Wanna relax our bodies. Wanna relax our head, our neck, our face, our eyes. And relax our shoulders, our arms, our hands, our back, our chest, bellies, bottoms, thighs, knees, calves, feet. We want to relax our bodies from the crown of our heads all the way down through to the soles of our feet. Relax, relax in our body. Now that we're relaxed, we're ready for our meditation. Let's choose to think on some good things. Let's choose to think on those things that bring us some joy, that bring us some peace. Let's take a moment to think on those kinds of things, letting our minds go to those happy thoughts. Let's meditate. Let's bring ourselves back to the moment. Take our living. Gonna lift onto our tippy toes, lifting our heels up. So our feet are pointed. And we're gonna relax our feet. And come up onto our heels. 
flexing our feet. And relaxing our feet one more time onto our tippy toes, pointing our toes, pointing our feet, and then relaxing. Next time on to our heels, please. I'm going to lift our hands and spread our hands wide, stretching our hands out, stretch. And then taking our hands and balling and lifting into a tight fist and then pressing them together like you're angry. Uh, and then relaxing our fists, rotating our wrists. Reverse that rotation. Take the left hand, pull the digits to the right, clean the thumb. Pull the pointer in the middle. Pull the ring and the pinky. Side, take the right hand, pull the digits to the left, point the thumb, pointer, the middle, the ring, <laughs> and the feet. And shake those hands out. Try to put the hands on our knees and raising our hands up to front center. Namaste. Awesome job. Awesome job. Good class. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Was it so? Was I, I tried not to be? Yeah, yeah. I tried not to be so sad. So it was. So I was trying to make it louder. <laughs> oh no, it was perfect. <laughs> You got it?
Yeah. 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 Yeah.